sale of the century. And here's your host, Peter Marshall. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Don't be nice to me. You're not going to get a car. The gentleman over there may get a car for £585. And our second challenger is a record company director from London. He enjoys watching motor racing and is a keen go-kart racer. Please welcome Simon Cowell. Hello, Simon. How are you doing? Sounds as though he's got some friends in. <laughs> Sounds as though we've all got friends. Simon, go-kart racing. Is it fun? Fantastic. Is it dangerous? Not really, no. Are you sure about it? Positive. That? Really? Yeah. What sort of speeds do you get up to? About 10 miles an hour. No, <laughs> <laughs> a bit fast, about 50. I think I'm, even I might, might endure that. Top speed is what? About 50. About 50 miles an yeah. hour? Yeah. Are, are they fairly st stable, those yeah. go-karts? Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Well, every time I've seen them in action, they have looked fun, but I just haven't the nerve to try. Glad you've had the nerve to join us, Simon. Good Thank luck in the game much. to you. Good luck. <laughs> Let's do battle. Devastating parts of the Caribbean in 1989, what type of natural phenomenon was christened Hugo? <laughs> Simon? A hurricane. Yes. What type of chain store do you primarily associate with the entrepreneur Gerald Ratner? Simon? Jewelry. Correct. Beginning with B, what name was given to the sculpture of the head, shoulders and upper chest of a person? Barbara? Bus. Yes. To which country does the volcanic island of Stromboli belong? Phil? Italy. Yes. The former lead singer of the Boomtown Rats, famed for his charity work? Simon? Bob Geldo. Correct. Which large, flightless Australian bird can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour? Phil? An ostrich. An emu, I'm afraid. And there's the bell. Brisk first round, that very brisk indeed. The bell was brisk as well to tell us it's time for the first gift shop. Most money, of course, going to do the buying here. Who's that? Simon, you're ten ahead. Simon, you're on thirty-five pounds. Go cart for this one. Simon, wrap up in winter warmth with a wool mix shawl and scarf from one of the top designers. True quality and elegance for the complete look. Normally priced at £50, the pair are only six from Rodier and Sale of the Century. Yep. Yep. Nice always, I mean, to be absolutely honest, I'm always amazed at the price of these things, but let me tell you, the ladies in your life will love you for this. Because you're a single gentleman, are you? Absolutely. Right. Well, this is perfect. Think of birthdays, all sorts of things. <laughs> I think that was your girlfriend shouting out in that, that <laughs> She's got a very rough, deep voice. rough, coarse, deep voice. <laughs> 50 pounds worth for six, going to give it you for four, that's a good price. Four pounds for you once, four pounds for you twice. Do you want it? I've got two very similar. Okay, I'll tell you what, and I think it's only fair, because they are very much the lady's gift. I think you should have a little something for yourself. I would say the 30 pounds would buy you a very nice tie and handkerchief set, might even buy you a nice scarf. No, no, definitely not good. Goodbye, Simon. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Looking very, very steely and immovable over there, Simon. Fifteen ahead, not doing any spending. We shall see. Multiply the number of commandments by the number of days in the week. <laughs> Phil. Seventy. Is right. Ten by seven, seventy. Name any of the three countries that were formerly part of French Indochina. No one going for... Kampuchea, Cambodia, or Laos, Vietnam, they were all there. Who was the storyteller who supposedly saved her life by relating the tales of 1001 Nights to her husband? <laughs> Phil? Sir Harazard. Absolutely right. Now there's only five pounds in it. Be prepared is the motto of which association? Phil? The Boy Scouts. Dib, dib, dib. You're absolutely right. You're neck and neck now with Simon. You're both on 55. Button, cup and flat are all varieties of which edible fungus? <laughs> Simon. Mushroom. Mushroom's right, you got the lead again. Wow, this is going to be a tight game. Second fame game uh, question coming up now on the prize board. Two bonuses, 10 and 15 pounds. Let's get straight into it. It is a tight game. The bonus, Barbara, you could do with a bonus. You're on 15s. Phil, you're on 55 now. A bonus would certainly help. Simon, you're on 60. A bonus might help secure your position being in the lead. What am I? I'm a technique of cookery, which is ancient and versatile. I have been used in many cultures to prepare bread, vegetables, meat and fish. This popularity, along with my relatively low cost on a large scale, has made foods cooked using me the staples of the fast food industry. I may use a pan, which is either shallow or deep, and oil or fat are used to cool for Simon. Frying. Frying is right. It was as simple as that. There may be frying tonight if you get a bonus. Let's have the pick of the board. Uh, number seven, please. Number seven. Will it be your lucky number? Let's have a look. Congratulations, Simon. Bring Italian style to your cooking skills with this set of kitchen tools. Compliments of Sale of the Century. Simon. <laughs> what a 
a very, what a very appropriate, appropriate prize for the correct answer to that question, I thought. Never mind, it's a useful one. They all cost money. You remain at 60. There's just five in it, 55. Ten ahead of him is Simon on 65. There's 20 pounds in it. There's a lot to play for. Let me tell you, it can be anybody's game in the speed run. You know where you stand. Okay, let's put 60 seconds on the clock. I wish you the very best of luck. This will be a tight one. The time for you starts. Now, what is the third largest of the world's oceans? Indian, used as a refrigerant. Solid carbon dioxide is also known as dry what? Simon? Ice. Correct. In chess, what is the name of the piece with the lowest theoretical value? Simon? Pawn. Correct. Beginning with O, which U.S. state was formerly known as Indian Territory Phil? Ohio. Oklahoma. Monica Sellers and Gabriella Sabatini are both stars of Simon? Tennis. Correct. In German legend, the Lorelei was a siren who led sailors to their doom on which river? Barbara. Sorry. The Rhine. In the fairy tale, what does the sleeping beauty prick her finger on? Phil? A uh, spinning wheel. Correct. The Zloty is the standard monetary unit of which Eastern European? Barbara. Poland. Correct. During which century did Van Gogh die? Barbara? Nineteenth. Nineteenth. Which Buddhist leader left Tibet for exile in India in 1959? Barbara. Dalai Lama. Correct. Chequers is the official country residence of the holder of which British political office? Barbara. Chancellor of the Exchequer. No Prime Minister. Complete the title of this novel by Alan Silito, The Loneliness of the Long Distance. What Phil? Well, no. Correct. Beginning with C. That's it. The time is up. Simon, you've done it on 80. You're plenty ahead. Oh. Phil, our champ has been beaten. Simon is the new champ by 20 pounds. He's on 80. Let me give you the final scoring. Barbara, you ended up on 50. Phil, you ended up on 60. It's goodbye to you, I'm afraid, Phil. But, Maria, have you got something nice for these two? I certainly have. Yes, Phil, you have the bunny jars, the tailor-made shoes, the bar set, and £150 in cash. And, Barbara, you have £100 in cash. And you both take with you, with our compliments, the beautifully illustrated Times Concise Atlas of the World. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed for playing. Simon Dunner, he's the new champ. Simon, we're going to go shopping after this. Come on. Is the smiling face of a new champ on sale of the century with money in the bank and desperate to spend it? You are, aren't you? Yes, very desperate. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Got £80 pounds in the old bank of tonight in the state of the century. Will you be surprised to learn it buys you this nice prize? Simon, when you're next striding along the golf course going for a hole in one, you'll have the kit you need to look the part. This golf bag is top quality and offers all of the space and pockets you need for clubs, tees, and balls. So, however hard you struggle with the equipment, carry it in style. Normally priced at £225, it's only 80 from William Bell and Sailor of the Century. Come on, Simon, come and have a look at the golf bag. <laughs> I love it. Freddie, that's called cheating. Throwing the ball out of the bunker. 80 quid, you've got 80 quid, it's yours. Simple as that. Do you play golf? I'm not very good at it, no. Okay, but it's a nice, nice present, isn't it? Yeah, nice. yeah. Little something for yourself. So much stuff for the ladies on offer in tonight's Save of the Century. Bear that one in mind. There is plenty more coming your way. How about this novel prize? Simon, tackling sand dunes and rough terrain requires a four-wheeled vehicle, and the Gaucho will certainly provide that. Built for younger drivers, it has three speeds, pedal accelerator, drum brakes, headlights and brake lights, mirrors, seat belts, shock absorbers, and much more. Normally priced at £515, it's only £170. From Mummers and Papas and Sale of a Century. Come in, Simon, come and have a look at this. Will you stop it, you big kid? You're going to break it. I want that. You want that? Mm -hmm. I think you and Freddie should get together. Yeah. I, think, I think you'd have an absolute D-Day in a toy shop somewhere. It's nice, isn't it? Brilliant. Very, very neat indeed. Bear that yeah. one in mind as well. There's a ton more temptation on the sale, including our top prize. Martin, tell them what we've got. Simon, for the best in hatchbacks, the Uno 45 combines functional elegance with real Italian flair. Economical to run, it has plenty of interior space with brushed cotton seats. Outstanding reliability and performance make this the ideal family economy car. Normally priced at £6,700, it's only 585 from Fiat and Sale of the Century. Come on, Simon, come have a look at the fun at Fiat. Would you like a look at that? Yes, fantastic. That's the fun Fiat car in fabulous red, and it could be yours for £585. Simple choice, really. Do you want the golf bag? Do you want to come back? Five seconds to make up your mind. Then when the time starts, it starts now.
Simon? I'll come back. Of course you'll come back. Put it right there. <laughs> Simon's going to come back and do it all over again, because that's what you've got to do on sale of the centre. You need money in the bank. You need a lot of money in your bank. But if you get £585, you can drive away from the sale, which he hopes to do, perhaps from all of us, for this show. It's goodbye. See you next time on Sky yeah. One. Be there. Make goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And Sale of the Century returns at the same time on Friday evening.